Hi, third graders. We are back to word study. Now, this word study is taking all the things we started from unit two and three and put them all together. All right. So basically, your goal is you can correctly add ing to any word. Now, we want to continue the goal that you can still read the words ending in ing. So if we look at those rules again, <clears throat> remember that the rules are when a word, the base word or the root word, ends with vowel consonant, the rule is that you have to double it, okay? When we have a bossy E at the end of a word, you drop the E before you add ing. And when we have words that end with vowel consonant consonant or vowel vowel consonant, those two have no change. So those two are similar. So what we are going to do is we are going to look at some words and we are going to sort them. All right, so let's look at some words. Here we have double. So that rule is vowel consonant. So if we're looking at that one, I am just going to use a pen up here and say these root words of vowel consonant. Drop E, remember there's a vowel here, there's a consonant, and there's a bossy E. No change are when there's two vowels and then a consonant or a vowel with two consonants at the end. All right, so let's look at our words here. Here, let's read this word. We have tugging. The original word is tug. Yes. This one was a double. All right, I'm just going to look at all the words and find the doubles. They're easy to pick out, aren't they? Jog, jogging, they doubled that one. Look around, what else do you see? Shop, shopping, two Ps, the original word shop. Now we have shopping. All right, I don't see any other. Oh, here's one, two Ts, get, getting, yes. All right, let's look at this one. Ooh, I see two L's. Think of the base word. Take off the I-N-G. You have the word smell. Oh, the word smell already has two L's in it. Actually, that one was what? No change, because that one was vowel, consonant, consonant, which is right up here. All right, let's find, see if there's any more doubles. I see double vowel, but that's not double consonant. So that one's, mm -mm. but I, when I do see that double vowel, that one tells me no change. Take off the ing, the word is feel. All right. Hmm. I want to find no change ones again. Take off the ing, think. Oh, two consonants, vowel, consonant, consonant, no change. Groaning. Oh, I see two vowels. Whenever I see two vowels or two consonants right together, I either know I can put that in no change. All right. Oh, watch. Take off the ing. It's watch. That's the way you spell watch. This one actually has three consonants, kind of a rule breaker, but they think of the ch as a blend. So that's why they still put it here because it's two consonants in a row. All right. We have the word using. Take off the ing. Is that the way I spell use? No, that one was a drop the e. All right, let's look at this one. This one is moving. Hmm, take off the ing. Is that the way I spell move? Nope, drop the e. All right. Oh, we have three more words. Here, let's do this one first. Speaking. Take off the ing. Is that the way I spell speak? Yeah, two vowels. That one's a no change. Lots of no changes. All right, here, take off the ing. The word is trading. Picture the word without the ing, and that needs a bossy e. All right, let's look at this word. This word is actually staring. All right, some kids will say, but look at Mrs. Rave. This word says star. That's true, but... If the word was starring and the base word was star, which is a vowel consonant, we would double the R. See the difference? This one is starring. This one is staring. So we would take this one and put it in drop the E. That one is tricky. Here is the word starring. That would be a double. 
So that kind of gives us an idea. Do you really understand the rules? So remember, we're taking all the rules and we're putting them together. You need to be able to read the ING words and correctly add ING to the base word. Make sure you're on target today.